Hey everyone, and welcome to Data Science, Supervised Machine Learning in Python. In this lecture, we'll be talking about what this course is about, what you can expect to learn, and how this course is structured. In terms of topics, this course covers some foundational supervised machine learning models. Specifically, we look at naive Bayes and Bayes classifiers. We look at k-nearest neighbor. We look at the perceptron. And we look at decision trees. So why are these foundational? Well, basically anyone who wants to claim that they know machine learning has to know about these algorithms. Put differently, there is nobody out there who can claim to be a machine learning practitioner but doesn't know about naive Bayes or any of these other models. These are the ABCs of machine learning. Now, that's not to say that they are too basic and not useful. In fact, all of these are still being used today in some form or another. So let's talk about why this course exists. You see, there are many machine learning courses out there, but they are all kind of the same. I split them into two categories. The first kind is the typical Udemy course. This also applies to most other online courses. The second kind is the typical academic course, which you might learn in college. So what's wrong with these courses? Well, the typical Udemy course proceeds like this. Usually, these courses are unnecessarily long for the topics they cover. They claim to cover many topics, but they are more like summaries instead of real understanding. So for each topic, you'll get a basic, intuitive explanation for how the model works. But this is the same explanation you could tell to your grandma. In other words, it's too hand-wavy for actual practitioners. If you want to do machine learning in the professional world, you have to know more than this. Then, when it comes time for hands-on practice, you essentially only write three lines of code using scikit-learn. Step number one is to create the model. Step number two is to call the fit function. And step number three is to make predictions and evaluate those predictions. Clearly by doing this, you haven't learned anything about machine learning because this code is exactly the same no matter which model you are using. What's the difference between naive Bayes and k-nearest neighbor? Using this code, it's not at all obvious. Sure, you can memorize some high-level ideas, but that's not true understanding. Guys, this approach is so easy, I just teach it for free. If you want to learn this kind of thing, just take my free course or spend an evening reading the scikit-learn documentation. You do not need a course to learn this. The sad part about these courses is that they trick people into believing that they have learned about machine learning. Most of these courses spend too much time teaching introductory Python, like for loops and if statements. Then they go on to teach basic Python libraries like NumPy and Matplotlib. Guys, that stuff has nothing to do with machine learning. If you want to learn machine learning, this is stuff you should already know. Taking these courses is like taking a course on English literature and then learning basic spelling and grammar. In other words, it's at a level far below than what you should be at. Now let's talk about the typical academic course. The typical academic course is essentially the other extreme. Whereas the typical online course is too basic and has too little math, the typical academic course contains too much math. Now, I love math, so there's really no such thing as too much math. So to clarify, what I mean is, there's too much math per time spent. A typical college course has slides that look like this. So what's wrong with this? The problem is, there's just too much going on and not enough time to explain it. College professors tend to present these equations without deriving anything. They show you these slides, say a few words, and then move on to the next slide. This is not the way to do math. Math should be derived. You should understand each line step by step by knowing how we get from one line to the next. In terms of hands-on practice, college courses also do better than the typical online course. Instead of scikit-learn, you get to build things from scratch. This is an excellent approach, but there is one downside. The problem is college courses are short. College courses also have to be taken at the same time as other college courses. So you don't have time to implement every algorithm you learned. Instead, you might have three or so homework assignments. In total, you may only get to implement just a handful of models in your class. That means there are still a bunch of models you did not get to implement. Now, why is implementing what you learned so important? I like to recall a quote from the famous physicist Richard Feynman. He says, What I cannot create, I do not understand. 
This exactly applies to machine learning. If you can't implement these machine learning models, then you do not really understand how they work. So college courses are a bit better than a typical online courses because you do get some hands-on practice, but they are still incomplete because you just don't have time to implement everything. Another downside of college courses is that all of the implementations are homework. Therefore, you have to implement everything by yourself. This is part of your grade. Unfortunately, most students do not get perfect grades. The average grade is about a C. So what's the problem? The problem is that if you're getting a C, then your implementation was imperfect. And if your implementation was imperfect, then there are still some things you do not understand. That brings us to this course. This course fixes all of these problems. There are two aspects to this course, theory and implementation. When we talk about theory, the typical online course suffers because it doesn't really discuss theory. It only discusses some basic intuitions that are more appropriate for non-practitioners of machine learning. I call these the grandma explanations. Yes, these explanations are great for your grandma, but your grandma isn't going to practice machine learning in the real world. The typical college course suffers because while it does go through the mathematics behind the model, it does so too fast. Many of the equations are only displayed but not derived. So any student who wants to understand that stuff has to take the initiative to do it on their own. In this course, we go through all the theory step by step. Everything is derived or explained from basic first principles. So as long as you know basic math like probability, linear algebra, and calculus, you can understand this course. In fact, some of the models we learn about don't even require this level of math. Some just require basic geometry. Now, what about implementation? In a typical online course, there simply is no implementation. All you learn is scikit-learn, which as we discussed, is pretty pointless. You can learn that in 15 minutes by yourself, or you can learn it from me for free. This is very basic, but it's not real understanding. In a typical college course, implementation is your homework. Unfortunately, you never get told the right answer, so if your implementation is wrong, you'll get a bad grade, but no one will show you your mistakes. Furthermore, you only get to implement a few of the models you learned. So how is this course different? In this course, you will implement everything you learn. Every model comes with both theory and implementation. In this course, implementing things is still your homework and you are strongly encouraged to implement everything yourself. But unlike a typical college course, I will walk you through the solution. So even if your initial implementation wasn't correct, you still have a chance to recognize your mistakes and fix them. Okay, so to recap, we will be looking at the theory and implementation of these foundational, supervised machine learning models. They are Naive Bayes and Bayes Classifiers, K-Nearest Neighbor, The Perceptron, and Decision Trees. Of course, we'll also discuss the pros and cons of each algorithm, and we will examine their behavior under different circumstances. So by the end of this course, you should understand when and where to apply each of these models and how to choose the right model for your project. In addition to learning about these four algorithms, we will end this course with a very practical exercise. In particular, we will look at how to deploy a machine learning model as a web service or REST API. We will use the Flask Python server and scikit-learn to build an image recognition web service. This is exactly like something you would do for your business if you created your own machine learning product and wanted to make it available to your customers. And notice how we use scikit-learn for this project. Clearly, this is a scenario where using scikit-learn is appropriate, unlike the previous lectures. So it's all about choosing the right tools at the right time. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next lecture.